Okay guys, we finally made it out at Mansfield. And she'll be showing you some pictures of before and after. This is where you first pull in and park at. You see the big parking lot behind us. Overhead, you can't see it, but you can probably hear it. They got helicopters. Helicopter rides. So we're gonna go through and I'll get some more video for you. And we're not even away from the parking lot yet, you see. We're all the way up into another section. It goes back up to the main road up here. There's some really pretty, pretty fake sunflowers that somebody's got. You should have got a film of those poppets. Everybody's loving those poppets. Yeah. Now we're on the main road here. They're probably poppets. You want to call them? See all the different stuff there is. For everybody that loves poppets. For all of you poppet lovers. All kinds of fidgets. Look down the main drag here. There's way more up the hill once we get up the hill. We still got a long ways to go down this way. There's cologne. Ten dollars a bottle. Cologne. And we're down another few feet. You can see all the different vendors. And barbecue. All beef summer sausage. It's going to get a little dark. We're going to go up underneath the great big tent. Candies. A little bit of everything in here. Clothing. More clothing. Mama needs a drink. They got vendors in here trying to sell you stuff. Christmas decor set up over across the way. Very pretty lamp. Giant poppets. Great, great big ones. Doggy bandanas in different colors. Eights are two and twelve by twelves are three and sixteen by sixteens and twelve by eighteens are four. Mm. Now we're getting up into the food, you see. Great big one there. Well, you should smell it here, guys. You can't. It's food everywhere. Ice cream, corn dog. Funnel cakes, goodbye sandwiches, ham and shake ups. Okay, we got us some little egg rolls. Remember earlier this year, you'll see a picture where we stopped here and showed you guys what it looked like. Well, we're gonna go across and come back. Giant 
tenderloins, fries, lemon shake-up, nachos and cheese, gyros, fried pickles, blooming onions, potatoes, fried fish, just a plethora of tents over on this side too. This is the this isn't even the main part of Mansfield. The main part's up on top of the hill. Gyro nachos. Never seen one of them before. Gyro nachos. Oh look at the giant Bigfoots. Metal cut out to Bigfoot. That's really cool to see the sailboats guys. Plane mobile, I've never seen one with boats before. Oh, I like the helicopter. Plane one there. There's a helicopter up there. There's another set of the boats. There's one of the big foots. I got cornhole games, full size ones, and I got mini ones back on the table. This goes for about, oh, between a quarter and a half a mile down and then comes back up the other side over there, so. They got dollar stuff in that bin right there. They just got everything. I mean, that little set right there is closed up today, but about everything's open. People's got tents, and then they got storage tents. They got so much, they brought so much stuff with them. Guitars, all kinds of guitars, new ones, old ones, big ones, old acoustics. Oh, and here for the ladies, look, purses, purses, purses. Yeah, purses, purses. All kinds of purses, big handbags, little handbags, tiny ones hanging up, just tons of them. Poppet purses. More poppets. Heart shaped purses. They got clothes in the next one. Oh my god. Never know what you're gonna find. Oh look, there's more stuff on the other side that I didn't know about. There's two more rows over there. Yeah, that's the one thing about this sale. Most things are not cheap. <laughs> you can usually you can find stuff cheaper at a store than you can here, but there's so many different items here. It's like putting 10 different Walmarts together. Walking sticks, more Chinese stuff, rakes, shovels, rain gauges, kettle corn, caramel corn. And we turn the corner to the left. So now we're gonna go up the left hand side and I see a humongous tent. It's called the big tent up here, guys. That's where we're heading is to the big tent. Oh, yeah, there you go, Michelle. Welcome it, to the cabin. Welcome to our cabin. Welcome to our cabin. It's got a four foot tall chicken behind it. And then you see over here for all the cowboys, there's your cowgirl. She's carrying a lasso and a six shooter. We got decals for sale up on the hill. If I can expand it for you. Well, it says it can't zoom out in this mode, but up on top is we're all decals up there. We're getting ready to head into the big tent. See what they got in here. This thing, look at the size of this tent. It's like longer than a football field. No kidding, guys. It's about 60 or 70 feet wide and longer than a football field. Hello. Hello, oh, guys. Here we go, guys. We're going inside the tent if we can make it through here. All kind of vendors. You see, we actually got this. It's, oh, sorry. Camera's turning. It's actually a huge tent held up by poles. Uh, if you can think of the perfume here, they probably have it. Got more poppets over here. They must be real popular this year. Chinese hats. Cowboy hats. Hey. Perfume. We're still at the perfume counter. They must have every scent here that you can think of, men and women. It's unreal. Unreal. $25, guys. It's way expensive. I can buy it for half of that at the store. Got 
Chinese umbrellas up here on the top. Jewelry, crafty home goods stuff, kids' rings. More clothing. I'm gonna shut you guys off for a little bit. I'll pick it back up if we see anything interesting. This guy's got swords and stuff, but I actually got the, the stuff you wear over your head and a helmet for knights. And for the ladies, I know you probably can't tell what it is yet. This is nothing but cosmetics. All cosmetics on these tables. Just tables and tables and tables of it. Two dollars a thing. Jewelry, two dollars or three for five. More jewelry. Housewares. We're all the way down this end, and you can see all the campers out that way. Now you can see back to where we started. It's way back there. More housewares. Got a little peeler. They look like a foot trap. They got hamburger presses. They got one here. It's bacon press. Egg rings, square egg rings, pancake rings. Yeah, that's like my dad had, but my dad's were a lot bigger than that. Pizza cutters, a corn cutter, it's plated. Tongs, measuring spoons, a lot of cutlery, more clothing. Be right back. Yeah. There's the deal of the day on socks. Two dozen for 20. They're decent looking socks. Got them in white and black, gray. And they got spinners going, guys. They got poppets and shirts and hats. And they got all kinds of custom spinners spinning. These little fans. You can see them. Well, guys, we're about two thirds of the way back down from the end of the tent. A lot of stuff to look at. Oh, well, finally, we made the end of the tent we're on the other side. Poppets, and they got wooden flag signs. They got tumblers. They personalize them for you. Here we're heading back out of the tent. I don't know if I want to climb up the but... There's more. There's big duties. There's giant duties over there. Hats, hats, hats. Toys, a lot of All stuff the overseas. All the things that I think is totally cool that I would want are the ones. And you got car things over here, it looks like. More shirts, swings. Uh huh. And now we're down to the next big sets of tents, and it's more the same. Flags, toys, socks, hats, signs, more stuff over on this side. All food in front of us. Little girl truck. Little girlfriend. Little girlfriend. We stopped here at Candyland Warehouse. All candies inside there. We got turkey legs, roasted corn. Hot apple dumplings, fresh baked strawberry shortcakes, Sundays flurries, ice cream. Okay, guys, we're heading back across the bridge now. I'm not gonna leave it on the whole time, but there's still there's twice as much to see as what we saw on this side. But we gotta get to the other side. Back in the basket. In Burr Arts Construction by Joseph J. Downs, two hundred and forty-seven dollars. In. There's on down the midway, and we're turning to go up the hill to the next big section. So we'll be right back. Ooh, pineapple whip. Another big, huge barn full of stuff. Looks like there's a little bit of everything in here, guys. You know how we always talk about the prices of fudge here and stuff? Well, right here we're at one of the fudge stands. A block is five, two blocks is nine. By four blocks, get two free for 18. Well, guys, you see, that's the size of a block. 
So four blocks is not even half a pan. Well, it looks like they get three, six, 12. They get 16 out of that tray back there. That's 16 blocks. You got all kinds of flavors. Some blocks are bigger than others. Got fresh Indiana made honey for sale. Honey and honey products. More metal stuff for sale. Put up it says what happens in the garage stays in the garage. How to handle stress like a dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, then pee on it and walk away. I got a jumpy house. I got giant hamster balls. A little bit of everything down there. See the kid in the hamster ball? Yeah, I got him. Rolling around trying to trying to make it roll. Okay, we're heading down this way. I wash my hands, so. How are you doing? Good, how are you? What, you want to try some licorice? I've got red, black, cinnamon, blue raspberry, watermelon, green apple. Get you a sample of one. I can get Cinnamon? Um, yeah, I guess cinnamon. The licorice guy. <laughs> they got shirts and whatnot stuff over here. The nicky nacky kind of stuff, I call it. And there's giant tents. There's, there's uh, Al Pacino from Scarface. And there's a 50% up, up to 50% off tent. What you see all the stuff up here, man? More clothing. You name it, like I said, they sell it at Cover Bridge. For all the people that drink, there you go, wine slushies. They got to make wine slushies for people. They got rockin' concessions from Gas City, Indiana. Giant tenderloins. Elephant ears. I can't see what else they got. There's up this side in the center you see all the stands over there and going around they got ham and beans chicken and noodles fried vegetable stand them are always popular here in indiana there's the front of this big barn guys there's a giant black cat up there crafty stuff so we're walking out of this food in area back here and going back towards the main this one's patsy potpourri Got all kinds of custom made spatulas over there with lettering, police, fire department, USA, number one dad, New York, you name it, they got it. Here's a row up here, you can see straight down, it goes way down there of tents. Like I said, we'll add the footage and we can show you what it looks like when this place is empty. Okay, we're coming up on we're coming up on Mansfield, and all this area in the side will be full of cars. If you can see all this grassy area. Side of the road too. Yeah, loaded and, with cars. And people try to park along the edge of the road anywhere they can. Yeah, there will be cars lined up along the highway. They usually state troopers out directing traffic. People rent out their yards um, for people to park. So if we can just see, there's, they call that Hilltop Farm right there. They, there's vendors that set up there also. Like I said, during the festival, this will all be crowded. You could never drive through here. You have to park far away and walk. All of these empty spots will be covered with vendors. These empty spots will be covered with vending trailers. And here's the ones that are, they leave them, they're built, so they leave them set up all the time. And they rent them out to certain people. Space for rent, space for rent. Space this for one rent. says it's for sale, yeah. so. Sale by owner, call Kennedy. Um, just a lot. There's a, a big mill here. This big more. yellow barn right over here. All the doors are open and they have all kinds of vendors in there selling 
homemade crafts, homemade goods, meats, cheeses, everything. And depending on, uh, hopefully everybody comes back this year, but you never know since there wasn't one last year. Some people count on it as their life because they make enough during the cover bridge to support them for the year, so. And they have dances, they have just everything that you could ever imagine. But like that sign right over there, it says, welcome to Hilltop Farm of Mansfield Park. And Chef's gonna take us. I'm not going across. We're not gonna go, no, we're not gonna go across the bridge right now but there's one of the covered bridges you can still drive across it yeah you can drive across it and over there you can see it says uh oh, well. turkey legs smoked meats no let's not go across it right now potato company and there's the the little lake pond stream that's, that's the, river that's, down there that's the thing that feeds the Feeds the mill, yeah. You, you can see on the far side, it's all that's all parking over in that area too. A few stands. Yeah, all those fields over there will be full of, full of cars. Okay, we stopped for a second. I decided to walk you out here. This is called the uh, Park Place Mansfield Village Scenic Overlook. That's the name of it. So I was just going to show you guys what it looked like. Like I said, in the summer when they have this thing, man, it's just packed. They sell stuff out of the that back place right there and out of the back of that other building but you get a lot better look at the uh the raccoon uh creek that feeds this whole thing there's a big shot of that bridge if you'd like to see it from the side it's a really long bridge really long you see how it spans the water there you can walk right down to the water's edge as you can see I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it comes over the falls. They built like an 18 something, and then it's got its own natural drop off down there too. You guys can see that or not. It's really sunny out here and I'm having trouble seeing, yeah. And the big white building there is where the mill's at. And right now you can see, I don't know if you can see it down there or not, but the mill wheel broke. It's not spinning. It's laying on its side for some reason. So maybe he's not been here this year working. Usually that guy stays open all year long. It's really pretty here though. You see the little walk bridge down there and then there's the man-made and then there's the natural drop. So I'm gonna, you can see all the parking there across the way. It's all oh, that's usually just full of cars. All right, we're just gonna go on and show you some more now. Like I said, there's all these little vending huts and where people will sell things and set up just like a little ghost town right now but see the little church right there so yeah. super cute jailhouse and ice cream isn't that super cute jailhouse yeah. ice cream jailhouse ice cream yeah There's, there'll be vendors setting up on that hill and they also do helicopter rides you can i think it's like 20 or 25 dollars they'll take you on a helicopter ride all around and Mansfield, Mansfield Roller Mill right there. Yeah. Chef said the mill wheel was broken. Yeah. If you can see this right here. It says Mansfield Roller Mill State Historic Site. It's been here for a very long time. And then the bill on the wheel, Mansfield but... Bar and Grill over there. Yeah, boxes over there. Just really, really pretty. There's some of those little guitars like I bought her a couple years ago. And all kinds of Himalayan hats and jackets and stuff right there. I wish the sun was there right now. Yeah, the sun's out. It was nice and cool before. Now it's really getting hot. Here's another big Mansfield Civic Center barn that's loaded with stuff we're getting ready to head into. ATMs everywhere, so they make sure people are spending money, that's for sure. Wooden crafts. And leather belts, leather products of all kinds. TNT wood wizards. Clothing, custom made hats. Looks like a lot of ladies' hats. They even have massage chairs set up up here for people to use. All the massage chairs. 
got soup mixes, rice baked potato soup. Sampling today. Does that mean they're free? So that says that they're sampling today. All kinds of soups. It's your noodles and your mix together. Infrared heat. Costco. Yeah, there was one around here. There was one around here. Hey, more bone? That's another idea for that fence. Take a section of the fence, mm -hmm. notch it to hold those, buy some of those and put a, make a sign out of them. Because look how much, no one's going to buy them for that price. That's nuts. Now we're in the third aisle of the barn here. He's talking to the guys from Costco, telling them we need to get one in Terre Haute because all our Canadian friends have them up there and we really want one. They have a percussion massage thing going on over here. Hi, friend. Pink Zebra Independent Shop. All right. Candle wax. Candle wax. Yeah, candle wax. Mm -hmm. Smells good right here. Bill makers, kitchen stuff, with pans, different types of things. And topsoil hemp. They got these custom toilet paper holders here. In case the Buckeyes play like poop. In case the Colts play like poop. In case the Buccaneers play like poop. They're really cute. They are $10 a piece. Okay, we're done in the barn now. And we're started heading down the old trail. We have a lot of footage I know we took from here when we were driving the truck through here for you guys that we can show you befores and afters. Here we come across one that got animated Halloween stuff set up. Crazy deals, Hartford, Indiana, blowout sale, makeup for one dollar. This is your land, the land of opportunity, and nothing should stand in the way of your soul. Big trucks, little truck welcome signs, more t shirts and stuff like that over on this side. There's former President Trump giving a thumbs up to this guy. A little bit of everything, like I said. I know it, there's a lot of triples and quadruples of things when you walk through here, but that's the way they set it up around here. More of the handmade stuff over here on this side. Okay, we're through that section here. We're now, I'll show you behind me through that section now and we're heading into the next section you can see this keeps going and going and going you go up one side and down the other there's another ATM never seen this many ATMs out here before guys got big signs out here a lot of metal work or food and pop Kettle corn. We're still going. Bongs for sale. Some pretty ones. Yeah, I got some pretty ones and flags. Pork rinds. There's always pork rinds at these things. You just gotta find them. There they are, right there. All kinds of flavors. Fresh chocolate chip cookies and pumpkin ice cream. And yeah, all Amish made stuff that you see the Amish ladies out serving. 
50% off the entire tent. Looks like we got all kinds of shirts and stuff. Let's take a look at what they got over here. Buffalo Bills. Buddy, I told you to sit in your Beef jerky and beef sticks. They have gator. They have gator, buffalo, beef, kangaroo, boar, elk, antelope, venison, ostrich, and duck. Don't make a difference. Another ATM. Handmade wooden signs. Yeah, Amish country fried pies. Five dollars each or three for twelve. And yeah, and we're continuing on down. You see this thing just goes and goes and goes. I've probably already put in what about two miles. Yeah, I'm really worried about him now. No, he's not doing so bad now. All kinds of stuff. You name it, they probably sell it here. There's more. I'm stuff. looking at more non food stuff. Yeah, I, I, under, stuff. I understand that, but you won't buy anything. So, Even more carts for sale. They sell them everywhere. Shirts, hats, toys. <coughs> and we're almost to the far end of this. Uh, leather goods, wallets, cell phone pouches, sunglasses. Regular wallets. <laughs> you can see we're down here to the end. I don't think. We're... Okay, guys, we went all the way to the end. Now we're heading back. It's strolling along, taking a whole lot looking. Like I said, it's getting pretty hot here now. We'll head on back to and down the hill, and then take you up the other side and show you what's up there. Here you gotta go. There's more. The big red barn of Mansfield. Boxes overlooked. Mansfield Village yeah. Barn Grill. Boxes overlooked. Over to the right is the, the actual roller mill. We're heading that way. Yeah. <sighs> I tried to zoom it for you guys, but it wouldn't let me. So. <laughs> Look at those big fidget poppet things. Huge fidget poppet things. the lady wearing the hocus pocus hocus pocus coca-cola c2 have you guys ever heard of coca-cola c2 half the carbs half the calories all the great taste i don't know There's the old big roller mill house right there. Are you going to be sitting here? Yeah. I guess it sounds like a go back. Pretty view out there, eh, guys? Okay guys, there's the Fox's Overlook Inn. You can see the road up there goes on up. That's where the helicopter you see they take off, taken off from, and there's parking back in there and a few more vendors, but we're just so tired, we can't go up the hill. And you see down here, there's a few more vendors in front of the other side of the bar, but just a couple. I'll show you a couple things when we walk back. Fenced off area for adults. The nice wood carvings here, but they're way too pricey. But if you can see the sign here, it says Husband's Daycare Center. Cold beer, football, need time yourself, want to go shopping? Leave your husband with us. <laughs> okay, we're going up inside the old roller mill. We've got a bunch of different things sitting around. You can see old cutting blades. Wagons. 
Mansfield Railway. This is an old cornmeal. Mansfield processed wheat and corn. The rollers on the mill are coarser to handle. A larger kernel of corn was ground into cornmeal and gets a staple for here in Indiana. The southern side of the mill is devoted to corn processing, the northern side to wheat. And all turbine power thing over there. Here we're going on here. There's a spike from the original Mansfield Railroad. So the machinery just sat upstairs. And here's we're not going to go around this side. The machinery is still there. So we really have Well, these are only half of them. The other half there's some more of the old machinery that used to be in here, and there's a replica of what it looked like here at one time. Some of the old machinery. So we get a chance to visit up here. This is open quite a bit of the year. And we're heading back out. You see they got persimmon pudding, homemade apple dumplings. Pumpkin, persimmon rolls, maple pumpkin pie. Heading back to the shop to where we started at. Way off there in the distance, as you can see, is the side of the bridge we took you across. Yeah, it looks pretty, definitely. And back into the main drag. Some of the people are starting to clear up, so it's starting to get late. This bridge is an 1895 cover bridge. It's a shorter one. There's the sign right there. Burr Arch Construction by J.J. Daniels, 62 foot in length, crosses William Creek at Billy Creek Village. So we're gonna cross this one. Yeah, this is an oldie, an oldie bridge. You can hear the wood slats creaking. 